Hi. Update on these little things that I did yesterday. Can you see how crispy they are? They're going to be really good. So I'm going to put a resin on the um, inner part there. I have put some white paint just in the middle bit and I might put some colours in as well and I'll show you what I've done tomorrow. Bit by bit they get stronger and stronger and I may even stick more little bits of tissue paper on as well. Um, these are the little um, beads that we made. Let's pop that back into the ship, shed, <laughs> the mini cabinet. And um, I've been playing around with them and this one I've put some of the iridescent tissue on and some white paint and then I might coat it with resin again. So they've already had a little bit of resin on. But I'd just do that and show you. A little bit of this stuff, which sticks to you by static electricity. So turn it around. I always do that first of all. And I don't usually do that, but I'll start again. <laughs> so wrap it around as so and melt it. So what I've done is I've sort of overheated it in places so it's naturally shrunk around the bead and then where I've let the heat play for longer it's kind of eroded into it so it has the look of the inside of a shell or, or pearl which is the kind of look I'm going for. And then just to emphasise that what I've done is I've got some of this thick white acrylic and blobbed it on literally just blobbed it on here and there like that so it's quite yeah and then what I found is that if you um, heat it again you could just let it dry naturally but if you heat it it kind of goes barnacly which is nice I think what it does it just sort of bubbles out as the top surface dries a little bit the inner bit tries to get out and and sticks out then I leave it and then when it's dry I just press them in and they make little sort of barnacle affairs on the top and then what I'll do is I for safety's sake I will stop waving it around quite so much and I will coat it with resin so we'll have um, some of these, which are just the ordinary plain white ones, which have been soaked in resin. Um, some I might put more resin on, or even what I could do is put... This is um, it's by Dela Rowney and it's called Shimmering Blue. It's quite delicate. It's a new, one of their new ones. So I shall... Put a little bit on. I tend to go to the bottom to get get it off. There. Oh yeah, that's that is quite nice. It will just it's going to be very subtle, but that's going to work a treat. And when it's dry, you can always add some more. So that's a good discovery. 
And then, of course, I shall add them to those beads that I made yesterday, of which I have got loads and loads and loads. They're quite nice. And I mentioned before that what I sometimes did, these are the same kind of beads, but what I've done is I've turned this kebab stick there. I can put it close and So it's like the silvery mother of pearl one, but this time what I did was I took sepia ink and I painted it and dab just sort of dabbed it along this stuff like that. And so when I wrapped it round, maybe I can do some now. I'll show you. <coughs> Put a little bit along here, not much. Yeah. Oh, let's do it on one of these. Sometimes. This is trial and error. I think it'll be good. Bring this back. It's got the opalescence and the sepia, which is like an under bronze to it. I think they will look beautiful as separate things or, or together, maybe. And then we can intersperse them with these and the little plain white ones and make something which is going to be really lovely. I can tell. <laughs> you get a feel for it, don't you, after you've been doing it for a little while. So. I will go ahead and make lots of bits and paint them up and I'll do some in not just sepia but different inks but I might do what I like to do sometimes is put a bright colour down and then put bits of sepia in between so I would paint I would paint as I've just have done sepia along the length of that or maybe and then add some colour on top so uh, any colour that would go with sepias, um, there could be marines or turquoises even. You just play around, you'll be quite surprised at the effects you get. And of course, if you look at this um, this stuff anyway, you'll see that it's got all sorts of colours in. This is a, a circular disc that I'm making into a brooch, and I'm just playing around with the idea here of just... I've been putting um, white paint on the surface and then trailing this over the surface and heating it into place. And then what I might do then is put some PVA glue across the surface in places and I could leave it to dry or I could heat it up. When it heats up it starts to bubble a bit and gives more textures and all these things are quite nice because underneath then when you put colours on top they'll form into these little crevices and of course then we can still put um, the sides on and add silver leaf and such like. 
see you tomorrow. Bye.